one of the new realities in the field of counseling is managed care. Using managed care in your private practice is something you're going to have to think long and hard about. What will be your position on that? Managed care versus fee-for-service clients. I found over time that managed care is like a marriage. If you go into it with the right expectations and with a lot of work, it can work well for you. But it takes effort to maintain on a daily basis. And it's always painful to dissolve. I found that in my private practice, like many of you, I thought I could avoid using managed care. And I worked hard to build a private, self-referring caseload. But over time, I saw that I did need to take managed care. And so I can kind of speak to both sides of it. But I find there's several misconceptions when you start thinking about using managed care. And the first is, all you have to do is hang your shingle out, get paneled with an insurance company, and then the clients will just start rolling in. The second is that your practice will be easy and rewarding. Now, that may very well be true, but it takes a lot of effort to work with managed care companies. Here's another axiom of building private practice. Dependence on managed care will always cause your fee-for-service business to dry up and wither away, partly because it's so easy to become dependent on the system that generates referrals for you. It tends to take you out of the entrepreneurial mindset that we've been talking about in this training. One of the most important developments in behavioral health has been the Affordable Health Care Act. And we will go specifically into those main points later in the training. But for now, as just an overview, there's several kinds of managed care. There is managed care that is administered publicly, and this would be uh, governmental, such as uh, Medicare, Medicaid. There's MediMedi and Foster Children's and SSI as an example. And then there are private insurance that pay for mental health care. These would be in the form of either a PPO or an HMO. Pacific Care or uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield would be examples of these. There's quite a few of them. And then there's industry or cafeteria plans that allow the patient to decide what doctors they want to use, and it's much more flexible. These are considered Cadillac plans. 